One of the biggest beneficiaries of what's happened during the pandemic has been the IT sector. As the world attempts to bounce back after the pandemic, uh, what are the kind of meta trends that you're seeing play themselves out, uh, particularly in the IT sector? No, look, uh, you know, COVID has been unfairly kind to the technology industry, right? I think what COVID has done has forever changed the mindset of organizations across the world in terms of how they think about their digital journeys, how they leverage technology to engage more impactfully and smartly with their customers, right? Because and that's, that was always something that was moving. It has just accelerated dramatically through COVID. And so these journeys of how do we move to the cloud more fast? How do we leverage data and artificial intelligence more impactfully to drive hyper-personalization and segmentation so you can offer customers things that they actually want and need? How do you leverage uh, security? How do you, how do you make your environment more secure? And how do you leverage talent that is available in countries like India smartly to drive this journey? And I think that only accelerates with COVID. And, uh, you know, despite everything that's happening in the world, and we can talk a little bit more, ab more about that, I think that continues for the foreseeable future. So how is the Ukraine-Russia war impacted what you're doing? Because there's been a lot of talk of geopolitical tensions impacting the way the global economy is configured. How is it playing out? So there are multiple different elements. You know, certainly the Ukraine war is one component. COVID, the reality is it's not over yet. There's rising commodity prices, there's inflation, there's a lot of uncertainty. So it's quite interesting when you are here in Davos and talking to people, people are incredibly worried about the environment. They're also uncertain about how the environment unfolds over the next 6, 10, 12 months. At the same time, people are still investing. Demand is still quite buoyant. Right? And you talk to a whole bunch of people, from the consultants to the private equity folks to customers. There's a sense of optimism in terms of spend still continuing, even though people are cautious. So I see the environment still staying quite robust and quite uh, uh, you know, positive for the foreseeable the, the future.